look, um, this is just a video diary of my illness, but most of all, the shit I've had to go through just to get employee support allowance and disability living allowance. It all started about February 2012 when I fell down the stairs. No injury from the fall, but they found osteoarthritis. Cut a long story short, went to a physiotherapist, and he seemed to think at the time that there was something aggravating the situation. Very clever man, really. I was then transferred to an Enscope physiotherapist, which done some tests, sent me for an MRI scan. And it turns out that my hand tremors, which everybody told me was caused through a nerve in my spine, it's not caused by that at all, it's caused by a neurology problem. So that hand tremors. Personally, I've got all the symptoms of MSO. I'm just waiting for my neurologist basically to diagnose me with that. At the present time I'll just stay in bed. Um, so when the employee support allowance sent me for a medical assessment, assessment I had to refuse and ask for a home visit. Wow, my lord. The amount of palaver I've had to go through to get a home via Atos have lied say, and said that I haven't received forms. Oh, they're just like ghosts in the night. Every time I speak to them on the phone, it's laughable but not so laughable because I end up crying. My hand tremors get worse, I get heart palpitations. And I end up with nearly a panic attack. I spoke to loads of people at Atos. Azia. I spoke to loads of people to at the DWP too, and spoke to Ahmed. Mm. I spoke to Mary. I spoke to quite a lot of people. All seem to be quite sympathetic on the phone. But really, not of them are very helpful. Um, my osteoarthritis basically is horrendous because basically my mobility with my hips and my spine, my knees are basically the only thing that were really getting me about. And now the left knee is absolutely horrendous. So, I stay in bed all day. And they want me to go for an interview. Which, I don't know how long it's going to take. I really can't get on buzzes. And I can't get on taxis because it affects my vertigo. Vertigo is a sign of MS. Which, by your eyes rolling in your head, you lose sight of the horizon. And boy, 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 it makes you feel so sick. All I can equate it to is... When people say they get drunk um, and the room spins, well, that's what it's like when I'm awake and my eyes roll and I haven't even touched a bit of alcohol. So, what I've decided to do is do a video diary of all the contacts I'm having with Atos. So, as long as videos you'll probably get, uh, telephone conversations, you'll probably hear how distressed you get. And basically, this is just to show how ill people are have to struggle to get what they want. I mean, I've paid 30 years of tax and insurance. I wish somebody would have told me that you might not get looked after, looked after when you're ill because I'd have kept my national insurance and I'd have kept my tax. And then I could have looked after myself. Basically, it's just a big con. Well, I've just had a phone call at 10 past 9 off Mary Mack, off, I think, the DWP, who want to arrange a home visit. But you know what? I'm really exhausted after yesterday. So what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to sign off now and then I'll come back on later. Okay, thank you, bye.